Hello and welcome back. When a user clicks on profile, they'll get to see the various tags assigned to them. This functionality will only be available when the user is logged in. So let's go ahead and start implementing that. So once more, I'll open up the header.html file and add here a URL and I'll call it profile. Then I'll create a controller to handle this. So I'll right click on the controllers package and create a new class and I'll just call it profile controller finish then I'll annotate it with that controller annotation and inject inside here the tag service as well as the user service next I'll create a method here to handle the profile request so that is a get request we just call it profile Again, inside here, I'll pass the model. Then we'll return the view, which will be a page that will display the various tags that belong to a particular user. So return. That page should be in the views folder and I'll call it profile. So the question now is how do we know which user is trying to see the task? And the answer is this functionality will only be available when the user is logged in. So when the user is logged in, we can use the principal interface to access the user's ID, which in this case will be the user's email. The principal interface is from Spring Security, so I'll just pass it here. And now I'll use it to get the user's ID, which is the email of the user. So string email should be principal dot get name. Then I'll use this email now to find the user. So user. This should be user service. Dot find one. I can then use this user to return the list of tasks that belong to this user. Remember this method that we created in the task repository? This method. It returns a list of tags belonging to a particular user. So I'll use the model to pass the list of tags to the view. So model dot add attribute. I'll just call it task in plural. And here I'll do task service dot find user tags and pass in the user. So all we need to do now is to create this profile page. I'll just copy this list.html file and rename it to profile. So I'll get rid of this form. And most of the stuff here would be similar. So I'll just change this to date 
let me expand this to see the names of the field does it there is a date there is the start time there is the stop time and the description Do not change this to task. This one should be task. So task dot date. This should be task dot start time. I'll get rid of this. We'll copy this one and paste it and this one should be for the stop time and finally the description So this is all we need to do for the profile page and we are going to be testing it when we implement Spring Security. So also I did forgot that we are already in 2018. So back in the footer.html page, I'll change this to 2018 and I'll also centralize it. So class, it should be text, text center. This is all from Bootstrap. And in the next video, we are going to start implementing Spring Security. Until then, see you.